In this tutorial in Cyberlink PowerDirector, we're going to show you a very simple way to scroll a long string of characters and words across your screen without using keyframing. So let's go ahead and begin to do that. I go to my title room, I can click on the T icon on the left side, or I can press the F7 key on my keyboard. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go down into the S area, they're alphabetical, and I want to use the scroll left. We're using the scroll left because in the Western world we read text from left to right. So I'll take the scroll left and I'll drag it down and drop it on track number three in this case. And so now we're going to scroll some text across the screen. If I don't do anything to this and I simply play what I have default, it will simply say my title here uh, three different times. Now we can go ahead and we can change the font size, the font color, uh, we can do all kinds of things with it. We're just going to focus on the technique on this lesson. So what I'll do is I'll double click on it. That will get me into my title designer. Now I'm in my title designer. What I want to do is first of all make it a little bit smaller so you can see. And now we're going to go in and I will highlight all the text of the default and we'll start typing in the text for our promo. I have actually typed in more than 16 lines of text. So there's almost no limit to how much you can put here. But there are some practical limits we'll talk about in a moment. So instead of watching me type, I'm going to pause this and then we will get back to the tutorial. I've typed in a great amount of text. Now one thing that you have to be careful of if you use this technique is that it's very hard to check your spelling. I can move the cursor uh, using the arrow keys, but it's hard actually to get to the very end because it goes way off the screen. And we see a small version of it down here, but again, the editing is difficult. I can highlight it and it will show me all of the text, but that's where I can check for spelling errors. But if I want to spell it right, sometimes I simply have to retype it from the last error. So it's a little bit tedious if you have lots of text. But if you type it in very careful the first time, it shouldn't be a problem. So now I have this. I'll click on OK. And we're going to go ahead and play this. The other thing I have done is when I brought the text in, I want to lengthen it to the length of my clip here. So my clip is 23 seconds and 21 frames, and I've lengthened this simply by using the mouse at the end to make it the same. Otherwise, I'll run out of clip before I run out of text. But there's some other things you need to consider. We'll talk about those in a moment. So if I go ahead and play this with the promo here, and now we have this running across the screen, and uh, you can use this as much as you want, as many words as you want. But you notice one thing I have going on right now is the text seems to be going too fast to read. If that's the case, you only have two options. The first option is you can go ahead and edit it and reduce the amount of text that you want displayed in that amount of time. The other option you have is you can increase the duration of the text field. But then again, you have to make sure that you have a longer video field uh, on the track above it. Otherwise, you uh, have no video, but you do have text flying. So those are the two ways to adjust it. Now, if I wanted this shorter so you could see it better, I'd go back into my editor, my uh, uh, title editor, go back into th uh, the area where I see my text and move to the end or delete a, a couple of sentences or paragraphs that I don't want. So I'm going to go ahead and cut out just a little bit. I have made some editing changes and we'll click on OK and I want you to notice the difference here. I'll go ahead and play movie again 
and it's the same duration but now it's a lot more readable so we don't have as much text so again you either have to shorten the text or lengthen the duration of the text in your timeline so long as it matches your video the way you want it to so this isn't a bad way to do it now watch what happens when we get to the end I like this it actually clears the screen at the end we don't wind up at the very last few frames with text lingering by the time we get to the end every single character you type in is off the screen and that's a nice feature of this so it's a very simple way simply of using the scroll left in order to slide text across the screen no keyframing involved and you can have as many characters as you have time for in your video production.